Hello and welcome to World Watch and the Willy Care TV. I am Messi Babadidi. Now, British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak and Rwandan President Paul Kagame are looking forward to the first flight of the Britain's plan to deport asylum seekers to Rwanda departing in the spring. Well, Sunak wants to relocate thousands of asylum seekers who arrive in Britain at small boats each year to Rwanda, but legal challenges have so far prevented anyone being sent there. Now, following a meeting between Sunak and Kagame in London, Sunak's office said both leaders looked forward to flights departing to Rwanda in the spring. Before any flights can depart, Britain's government needs to pass new legislation, which Sunak hopes will pave the way for the government to send asylum seekers who arrive in Britain without permission to the East African country. Now, legislation that seeks to block further court challenges to the plan will next be debated in the Parliament on April 15. Sunak has previously said he expects the first flights to leave in the spring ahead of the national election expected in the second half of this year. Still on World Watch, at least 10 people were killed in Israeli airstrikes on the blockaded uh, Gaza Strip on Thursday, the second day of the Islamic holiday of the Eid of Fitri. According to reports, fighter jets struck a marketplace in central Gaza city, uh, leaving eight people dead and several others injured. Two others lost their lives in Israeli shelling of the Nusayrat refugee camp in the central Gaza Strip. Casualties are also feared in an Israeli airstrike targeting the Israeli army as found at the Gaza Strip since October 7th cross-border attack by Hamas, which killed nearly 1,200 people. The war has killed more than 33,500 people and injured over 76,000 others, causing mass destruction, displacement, and bringing its population of more than 2 million on the verge of famine. Israel stands accused of genocide at the International Court of Justice as ICJ, which has ordered Tel Aviv to stop genocide act and take measures to guarantee that humanitarian assistance is provided to civilians in Gaza. And our President Joe Biden has vowed that the U.S. will defend the Philippines from any attack in the South China Sea calling its support for Manila unbreakable. Biden's comments came amid regular battles and rising tensions between Chinese and Philippine Coast Guard vessels in the disputed waterway. Now, the U.S. and the Philippines have had a mutual defense treaty in place since 1951. China has repeatedly blamed the U.S. for raising tensions in the region. Speaking at the start of the three-way talks at the White House with Japan, SA Prime Minister Fumio Kishida and Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos Jr., Biden said that any attack on Philippine aircraft, vessels, or armed forces in the South China Sea would invoke the mutual defense treaty. Now, Marcus' visit to Washington comes several days after his country accused a Chinese vessel of highly dangerous maneuvers near the Second Thomas Shoal, a disputed maritime region near the Spratly Islands. And now, in another story, President Joe Biden has been urged to ban import of Chinese-made electric cars to the United States. The chair of the Senate Banking Committee stated that Chinese electric vehicles are an existential threat to the American auto industry. His comments are the strongest yet by any U.S. lawmaker on the issue, while others have called for steep tariffs to keep Chinese electric vehicles out of the country. In February, the White House said that the U.S. was opening an investigation into whether Chinese cars pose a national security risk. The world's two biggest economies have been locked in the trade war since 2018, when then the then-Trump administration imposed tariffs on more than 360 billion U.S. dollars of Chinese goods. President Joe Biden has loudly kept those tariffs in place. And now, last year, the value of goods the U.S. bought from China fell just over 20% to $427 billion. At the same time, U.S. exports to China dipped by 4% to just under $148 billion. US dollars. And that's all we have for you on World Watch. I am Messi. Bye-bye today. Follow us on our social media handles at Ubeleke TV. Visit our website at www.ueleke.tv for a thrilling journey. Ueleke TV, rising star at the fairground.